welcome to another PC Perini tutorial. Um, as you can see, I am currently running Audacity. I've uh, mentioned a little bit, a little blurb about that, um, and I will be going over it later in another episode. Um, this is actually recording all of my audio for this narration now, um, because Cam Studios audio recorder just doesn't really cut it. Uh, but more on that later. Today we are actually going to be working on oh, random I am busy burb <laughs> um we're going to work on thunderbird mozilla thunderbird and i apologize i think i'm going to make myself invisible for the time <coughs> time being uh mozilla thunderbird as you can see i'm running multiple email accounts and one rss feed which is uh an interesting feature of this um it is just your standard email program you've got your where your inbox shows up or your message shows up and your folders um and uh just very standard very standard um it's got your accounts account settings where you can add an account uh today we are going to add hmm let's go ahead and add a gmail account and we'll call it pc perini PC Perini at gmail.com and because it's Gmail it automatically fills out um, your outgoing server and your incoming server um, if you don't know your outcoming and incoming server for your for your client AIM Yahoo Gmail uh, you can find it online uh, but I will tell you right now uh, AIM is IMAP I -M -A -P, dot AIM.com and their outgoing is smtp.aim.com. Uh, Yahoo actually runs through a program called YPOPS, and uh, you can Google that, and that'll that'll tell you where to get all your good stuff, um, your server information. Uh, excuse me. Um, Thunderbird actually has an automatic Gmail setup wizard, so you don't even have to worry about that. Um, we're going to go ahead and cancel because I already have my Gmail account set up here, um, and show you how blah RSS feeds work. Okay, we're going to go pick an RSS, and uh, you can use whatever your favorite blog uh, blog is. Um, I think we will search something in Google. I believe that gives you an RSS. No, not always. Um, YouTube. No. I'm trying to find something suitable for you. <laughs> Sorry. Well, here's one that I know works because I've already got it. See that little orange sonar y little icon? Uh, this will tell you exactly what you need. Um, click on it once, subscribe to, and if you're using Firefox, which I believe everyone knows, but I might be doing a tutorial on that later. You want to click bookmark toolbar folder. Click OK. Right click properties. Highlight all and copy. That is the feed location. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete this because it is now essentially useless. And we are going to go into our blog. Subscribe. Add and paste one. Okay? Now, that's one way you can go about doing it. Another way, if you have the XML file installed, such if it's your your feed and you want to test someone who, is, who has a subscription to it, you want to test it to see if it works, you can import your own XML files. That's the other way. Whoops. Wrong button. And then you can even export your RSS feeds with the right plugins installed which you can get from the Mozilla website you can hit control shift and M to have see Mozilla looks like it's gone but my dock indicates otherwise it is actually running in the background picking up every one of my email Z emails I guess um, anyway let's see here what else um, like I said very very standard you can do all your basic things, attachments, send, forward, copy, uh, 
Dude, you can customize your toolbars, but that's a standard feature of Mozilla. Um, go to different messages, offers good shortcuts. Add-ons will take you right to its add-on wizard. Address book, you can have multiple address books. And, um, in fact, you can have your personal address book. These are all the people that I've emailed at some point or another. Um, yes, strong bad is in there. Um, don't know why that's in there so many times. But, um, the, you can have, in an address book, you can have mailing lists. And the mailing list will go out to whoever you decide to mail that to. Um, that is about it. Uh, I can't think of anything else. If I miss anything, please feel free to post it as a comment or email me at a pcperini at AIM, Yahoo, or gmail.com. Uh, this has been a PC Perini tutorial. Thank you and woot.